Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Morbius from the Exorbi Man wave. So we'll check out the front the side here, it shows Jack o' Lantern. On the side here, it has Morbius, and it shows the both of them together on the back. And I'll go ahead and get this open. All right. All right, guys, so here's Morbius out of the package. So it comes with the other different versions of the arm for Exorbi Man, which looks really cool. These ones are really nicely textured, too, not along with the paint. I really like the stone look. I think that looks really cool. Ah, uh, I can't wait to can't wait to build them. All right, and they got this darker kind of almost like another type of stone. Looks really cool. All right, and then he comes with an interchangeable cape, which is really actually a nice touch. You can have. I didn't buy two of him because I didn't think I needed to for the build a figure, but it's kind of cool to have the two different versions. Um, not sure which one I'll be using, but I kind of left him the way he was in the package with his arms out. But overall, I think he looks awesome. It's a little loose. Um, yeah, I don't have the original version from Toy Biz just because every one I saw, the face was just kind of it's just messed up. It's either melted or it just looked weird. So I've never had a Morbius, so I'm pretty excited to finally get one. But um, looking at this head sculpt, he looks really cool. I really like the red eyes. It's very creepy, you know, very the living vampire, <laughs> which is just really cool looking. But the flesh tone is just really nice. I really like that kind of grimy white, but it's got, you can kind of see like a yellowish tint to it. I love how the messy hair, straight black hair looks with the ears poking out, those creepy vampire ears. Just a really cool looking figure. I like the goatee. But those eyes, the black around it, oh, looks so sick. And you got the mouth, you can kind of see things. Looks really cool. I don't know. I just think this looks awesome. Um, then he's got the nice classic kind of looking, you know, uh, why can't I remember, collar <laughs> going around. It's just a black on the outside, the red inside. You can see more of that same flesh tone um, on the inside. It looks really good. Come along the back. I really like how this looks. You can see the fabric lining of the of the cape just easily pops on. It's very pliable. Actually, both of them are extremely pliable, which is nice. And it just plugs right in. There you go. Um, there we go. Oh. I really like how the arms turned out too. Um, let me just get fixed away. Bring your arms down. There we go. But I really like the black, how it's just continues that flat black and then on the arms too. But then just the way that, I mean, look at the grimy that looks on his forearms. I think that looks really cool. Come on, camera. I don't know. I think that looks really nice. He's very creepy looking. He's got the black nails. Nicely done. I mean, that looks gross. Kind of all really grimy and dirty. It's even got a different kind of texture because of that paint. It looks really cool. I really like how that looks. The continues is on with that uh, same glossy black plastic. It's got the red belt. A little nick right there, not too bad. And then it continues down, just pretty plain black on the rest of them. God, that bugs me. It's already kind of loose. Let's see if that helps. The cape looks good. I got the, I like the straight cape, actually. I may be posing them this way. I like how this is kind of flowy. And it's got just that red paint on the inside. It looks really good. And it's just that simple plug. And plugs right in, no problem. Same thing with the flying cape. Almost looks like a bat itself. I think that looks really cool. Very nice little touch. All right, so I'll go ahead and go over the articulation. So he, look, he looks up. Ah, oh, popped his head off. So his head does pop off pretty easy. Can't look up too far. Um, looks down, decent amount left and right. Kind of has the, you can go, huh, huh? And he's got the ball joints in the shoulders. Move out. And forward and back, upper thigh swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, all along with the hinge at the wrist. Looks good. Got a nice ab crunch, nice and clicky. And click back, just fine. Cape stays on. He's got a waist swivel, and his legs can kick forward, not that much. They don't spread at all, actually. That's about as good as you're going to get. Um, he's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. He's got a boot rotation. His feet move. They're really tight down and up. It's got a nice ankle rocker and peggles the bottom of his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Morbius is. All right, guys, so Morbius stands right at a little over six inches. So he's 
perfect. I think he looks really cool. So here he is next to, we'll go ahead and stand next to the Ben Riley Spider-Man. So he looks really cool. I was so excited to see him at Comic-Con last year that, you know, I'm really excited to finally have him. I think he looks awesome. Definitely, definitely. This has just a, been a solid wave. I, I mean, this whole series right here is just really good. So there you go, guys. That's my review of Morpheus. Hope you liked it. Please hit the like button if you did. Uh, definitely leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye.